we're gonna turn all this into this. I'm gonna show you the entire process of how I harvest, prepare, and can all these greens. This is a combination of mustard greens, cabbage leaves, and kale. So we're gonna be canning this um, to put on our shelf, and that way we can have this and we'll cook it with like bacon or ham, and cornbread, or any good country dishes like that. But of course, you can use whatever greens that you like to cook, and the process will be the same. So let's get to it. First, let's start with the mustard greens. I'm gonna be collecting the biggest leaves, but I am going to be making sure that I leave the new growth. See the new growth right there? So I'll just be cutting the leaves underneath it. As you can see, my mustard greens are starting to bolt, which is fine because I'm going to be collecting those for mustard seeds. Now let's do some of our cabbage leaves and our kale. My cabbage is bolting as well, but you can still use the any part of the plant. It's still completely edible. When it comes to food and growing food, I don't waste anything. Now using a knife or your hands, I'm going to be removing the inner stem and just take the leaves. The stem is edible, it's just not as tender, and for this I just want all the tender leaves so my chickens get the stems and they were very appreciative. Now that we have our leaves ready, let's take them in the kitchen for a good wash. I'm going to be doing this in small batches just to make sure that there's no little critters in there or eggs or anything like that. Once they're all washed, I'm going to steam these just for a few minutes just till they're starting to wilt. And then I'm going to loosely fill my quart size jars. I am using some lean pork broth, but if you just want to use hot water, make sure you're adding a teaspoon of salt per jar. I'm using a chopstick to debubble, wiping the rims with a towel and some white vinegar, then adding clean lids and rings from Denali, of course. Now it's time to get our canner ready. This is the Tinker by Denali. I absolutely love it. We started this process outside, but then I had to move inside for some technical difficulties. I added five quarts of water to the bottom. Always make sure you have your rack at the bottom. Check your seal. Check to make sure your pressure gauge is tight on there. If you're under a thousand foot sea level, you're going to be processing this at 11 pounds pressure. If you're over a thousand feet, process at 15 pounds pressure. Pines get 75 minutes and quartz get 90 minutes. After that, remove from heat and let the pressure go down completely to zero. Let cool and test your seals. 